I'd say that the basic root of it is trying to get a well-balanced, diversified portfolio. And there's a lot of ways to think about that. Typically, when you hear people in the industry talking about a diversified, balanced portfolio, they're talking about the dollars. The classic example is a, what's called a 60% stock, 40% bond portfolio. And when somebody says that, they're talking about 60% of the dollars in the portfolio being in stocks and 40% of the dollars being in bonds. One of the problems with that is that doesn't focus on risk, which is the piece of a portfolio that you really ought to be focusing on diversifying. In the 60-40 stock bond portfolio, as an example, when you do that by dollars, the risk is still about 90% in stocks in a portfolio like that. And I think most people don't realize that. And the reason for that is that stocks are about five times as risky as bonds. So what we try to do is focus on the risk that each asset has and distribute the risk across all of the possible investment environments that exist in the world, which is basically four. And when you do that, you don't have to guess about when inflation is going to be difficult or when inflation is going to be a tailwind and dropping. At the same time, you don't have to worry about whether the economy is going to grow next year or we're headed into a recession. You build a portfolio that can withstand all of those things because the risk is equal between all of those environments. 